Hello everybody, Mikey Derpanginator here with Hearts of Iron 4, man the guns. So this whole exploiting nonsense, we're not really trying to do any particular exploits because I don't really know what particular exploits we're doing. Um, what's the difference with Marines? So infantry equipment 1660, 1610. So Marines use more infantry equipment, so we're going to try and have Marines into here. Um, there we go with that. Let's get construction and all that. So the main reason we're doing this is just to try and secure as much equipment for us as possible. And all this naval stuff is cool. We're gonna just going to keep exercising, build up our XP, and worry about this once the Civil War is over. So I'm going to tell everyone to build convoys. Anyhow, um, so yeah, I was looking at some of our designs, so it looks like so the New Orleans, we'll decommission the New Orleans, we'll decommission the Colorado, Brooklyn, converted battleships, all that. We could convert stuff to battleships. Um, this is a mine layer, so I'm going to put a mine symbol on it. Uh, the uh, Ogala class, are we building any of those? No. So we'll, we'll look at it later. What is this? Oh. Okay, that's just more emblems. Oh, so wait, does that is this like a filter? This is a filter. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's very cool. So uh, anyhow, we got the air wing going. Everyone's doing their thing here, and we're gonna speed five until we get to. Well, looks like we finished building everything. Um. Let's see, what did we do? We did the Escort Destroyer. Do we want to add anything to it? Um, no, I think we just want it to be as cheap as possible. So yeah, the these are going to be as cheap as possible. Uh, so Depth Charge 1s, that's fine. And what do we want it to be? The I like this. Hmm. Maybe the Crab. Let's make it, let's make it crabs. All right, so let's call it the Escort Destroyer. Um, what do we call it? Let's call it the Panzer class. Oh no, we'll call it the Escort DD. There we go, we'll update it. And I want maximum and I want those to where do I want those to deploy? I want them to deploy. Let's do a uh, Pensacola. There we go. USS Evart. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So there we go with that. We have a bunch of ships and uh, our main fleet, which is good. Just exercise. Uh, what do we do? I'm gonna enable automatic split off. High prior report. Prior. Uh, what am I trying to say? High repair priority. Uh, let's spend some XP to get those depth charge throwers. And before we even design that, that ship, let's upgrade you to have Sonar 2. There we go. So we'll upgrade you to the early destroyer hull A3. No. I want this to be escort destroyer 2. Escort DD Mark II. I'm gonna do like V2. Okay. So let's do one of these. And then let's do. Alright, so we got that and then we'll we'll do more. There we go. And then we'll do it in Florida and Infinite. There we go. Because, yeah, I, I want to... Uh, no, we'll just switch you. We'll just switch you. 18 days of production, that's not bad. There we go. That's fine. We haven't even built one yet, so... Oh, no, the senators are mad at us. I mean, this is all fine. This is all understandable. We, we need the Senate to be in house to be all mad at us. So we can get rid of him. So what does Escalator Clause do? Oh, who won the Spanish Civil War? 
Ah, uh, Nationalist Spain, finally. The little entente leadership purge in the Soviet Union. So, yeah, the, the, the you're going comp. <laughs> the, the, the British are going communist. This is comical. All right, so let's see. How can we edit you? Can we add Marines? There we go. Um, ah, there we go. House Committee supports presidential policy. Uh, politics, politics, politics. Good stuff. So, what are you? Oh, so everyone's splitting off from the fleet to repair? That's pretty cool. So let's uh, actually assign... There we go. Let's assign 20 dockyards to repair. Where does repair show up on here? Does it show up on here? No idea. Now I came to revisit this colonial policy. Stanley Baldwin announced changing the nation's colonial policy, recognizing the rights of all people for self-determination. Set all imperial subjects on the path towards independence. Ooh. Current in the foreseeable future. Uh, greatly weakened the United Kingdom's position in the world. All nations that desire to do so are uh, member, member of the newly found community of nations. So, uh, sounds like a bunch of commie propaganda to me. Not gonna lie. So we're just gonna keep adding marines. We're just trying to add as much equipment as possible into that one division. This is somewhat exploity, I think. But, it's fine. So, there we go with all of this. Uh, reformer, financial expert, he's pretty good. Uh, let's see, improve relations opinion. So we're going to hold on to this political power. And we're going to go... With what? Director fire. Radio's good because that gives us radar for our ships. Which I like a lot. Let's get field hospitals. Let's do that. And then let's see. Depth charge throwers are good. Um, magnetic detector. They really need the year to like continue going down all this. So like. Like what? What could we do? Uh, we could do some doctrine. Like, let's see. Convoy escort? Let's let's do some convoy escort. Let's escort the convoys. So let's see. Let's um keep adding Marines to the one National Guard division. Try and hold as much equipment as possible. Opposition uh, service defeat in the Senate. There we go. That's good. It's almost election time. We're about to get Alf Landon, and we're about to turn things loose. Um, but yeah, we'll look more at the naval side of the, the expansion once uh, things get going. Oh, we have um, new. We have a new um, module for this, so let's uh, set you to one. Where is uh, Escort Destroyer V2? We have Depth Charge 2s. So let's call this, uh, come on, keep the same name. Escort DD V3. Come on. So just one of these. And then, uh, is this Reserve Fleet 2? This is Reserve Fleet 2. There we go. So, um... We'll, we'll, we'll let that just continue going as it is. And, uh, well, it's almost election time, boys and girls. Let's get, I want to get this uh, direction finding thingy. All right, slow it down a bit. Let's uh, continue amending this. More Marines. There we go. Representative Chris Isaac, President, Opposition. Well, we're about to have an election, so we could do something about that. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got some air XP. Uh, Republicans, ooh, we must safeguard our ideal, the ideals in the American system. Blah, blah, blah. Republican Alf Landon. 
The people have spoken. All right, so look, Alf Landon, ideology, drift defense plus 50%. I think we should uh, reestablish the gold standard, what do you say? Which will give us uh, consumer good factory, more stability, and people going to opposition. Well, they're wrong. So we have some of this. Let's do a uh, medium lobbying effort. Try and sway some people. And let's give, uh, let's do the refugee to the scientists. Uh, I don't want to do any of this. What's improved worker conditions? Stability. We'll worry about that later. So don't worry about this at all. Uh, nation building in the, what is this? Don't care. All right. Special measures, which does what? Congress Congress more direct personal incentive to realize what's best for the bank account. It's also what's best for the country. What? So what does this do? Let's try it. Let's see what this does. Keep adding Marines. More equipment. Which is fine. More escort destroyers. So could we upgrade you to the V3s? Look, they're refitting. And... Oh, I see. There are no factories assigned to it. Ah. Well. Let's do like this. I just want to see this in action. Okay, right, this is going to be super easy, I think. 70 point not what? What is that supposed to mean? Why is it red? All right, so these will be done December 4th. Hmm. What is going on? Anyhow, Converting all those military factories away. And let's also uh, just maximize our military factories in the good old south. Is North Carolina part? Yeah, this, this is good. This is good. All right, so there we go with the National Guard. Excellent stuff there. Are we at max naval XP? I think we are. It's 500 maximum. All right, so let's take the fleet. I'm going to have you, uh, how do I return to base? Repair now. No, go, go to New Orleans. Yeah, go, go chill in New Orleans. Uh, do that. We have <laughs> we maxed out our naval XP. <laughs> this is beautiful. That is amazing. Japan has declared war in the Japanese People's Republic. What? Did Japan decide to go communist? Oh, uh, no. Guys, oh my god. Um, so, that, that that's concerning. The British are going to go communist. The Japs are going to go communist. Right? You're going communist, right? Revisit, no, 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 we want, yeah, that's no good, this is a dangerous world, everybody, you can't trust the communists, they are evil, and they are out to get us, more marines, that's, that's the answer, what is this, statehood, um, Let's not worry about this yet. Let's do the lobbying effort. Try and get it. our house support's pretty good. Our Senate support is trash. So we're gonna need to work on that. So wait, where did all the factories go? Oh, we. That's right. We're uh, getting rid of all our military factories. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what's going on here? I'm like, oh, yep, yep. I totally did that thing. So, uh, whenever a war starts, we should have a ton 
of good destroyers for anti-submarine warfare. Do we have any, like... Ooh, well, first of all, we, we reestablished the gold standard, uh, which does that. And America first, which gives us Charlie Coffin and changes fascism support. Hurrah, hurrah for Southern rights, hurrah. <laughs> the Silver Legion of America. Ah, yes, America first. Senator vote for government proposal. Okay. Got some more senators. That's good. Congress. What a silly thing. It's got our basic fire control systems. And it's 1937. Let's get a bunch of industrial techs. That would be nice. It'd be nice to also not have the Great Depression on the gold standard, which is good. Ideology drift defense. Eh. London Naval Treaty. Yeah, we haven't actually we haven't looked at those designs yet. Perhaps we could design a ship. Ooh, let's do a carrier. Let's uh, let's get a battleship. Do we not have any heavy cruisers or oh, we have cruiser hulls, destroyer hulls, submarines. So like this is our mine layer. So you have mine laying rails, mine laying rails, mine laying rails, uh, light cruiser battery. I don't think the A matters that much, but whatever. Eh, we're not going to worry about that. And you shall go to this. All right. Hurrah, hurrah. The National Guard. There we go. So we're going to try and make this all Marines, which is just going to be, again, comical. Trying to get as many dudes as possible. So there we go. Got our, got our ships. We could upgrade if we wanted to. Got our little escorts, which are good old anti-submarine ships. So, America first. So, what do we want to do? Ally with the silver shirts. We need more than 20% fascism. Which will do what? More will support the government. More at base stability. Gain the event. Protest in the capital. This will move you closer to civil war. Well. Well, well, well. Let's do another medium lobbying effort. Research grants, which does what? Research speed. Ooh. Oh, but that'll mean opposi opposition. No, I don't want opposition. I want everybody to love me. Let's get fuel. I mean, not that we have any fuel problems, but, you know, we'll have less fuel problems as things go along. Anyways, that is all of the time we have for this episode. I'm going to uh, edit this to be more marine-like. Um... If you enjoy this episode, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, this is Mikey Dare Panzernator signing out. See you, nerds.